Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturks and welcome to the Outer Wilds. Oh my, am I, I still haven't recovered. I still haven't recovered. I still haven't recovered from all the things we found out in the last episode. I felt like my little brain just couldn't quite accept what it was being told. I don't know if any some of the things that I was saying were right. Um, I did a lot of theory crafting. I still think that somewhere out here, one of them is still alive. One of the Nomai, at least, has to be here in some form. Otherwise, who is activating that cannon? Who's doing it? You know, we, we know that we have a Nomai mask. We know Gabro has a Nomai mask. There's a third person. And it was on the, the, the probe cannon itself was where the statue was. Th that one was open. That had been interacted with by someone. And I need to find out who. We have a few avenues that we could follow, right? And I'm trying to do it in what I feel is order of least importance. Um, and that's not to say any of these are not important. They're all important to the story. They're all important to me. But there's some that I feel like I don't want to rush into because I'm going to ruin that for myself. I, I want to kind of have that moment of desire to want to keep doing this. So what we're going to do first is we're going to solve a mystery that we still haven't got to the bottom of. And unfortunately, it's going to end up with me going somewhere I really don't want to go. But to start off with, we're going to do Giants Deep. We're following Feldspar. That's going to be the, the theme of the next few episodes. We are going to find what happened to Feldspar. So the first thing we have to do is to go to the Core of Giants Deep. It has been conquered by Feldspar. Um, and just to put this into perspective, how amazing that character is, and it's only just really sunk in, Feldspar on their own discovered how to get to the core of Giants Deep. The Nomai discovered it by accident, and I'm 100% convinced Feldspar did the same. But the Nomai, with generations, countless generations of knowledge and know-how and scientific ability, didn't figure that out until they accidentally sank one of the pieces of the cannon. Right? Which I think is quite fun. Um, Feldspar managed to just kind of suss that out. What I'm trying to figure out is, is this this part that's in the core that we're going to? Is this part the one that they told us had kind of disappeared? Or has this happened since the cannon explodes? Because I'm not actually sure. I'm not actually sure. It could be one or the other. I don't think it'll be the one that they initially lost, because that would be that wouldn't explain why it looks like it's kind of snapped off the cannon itself. I'm guessing the part in question that we were looking for from the cannon itself is kind of dropped down there. That's my thinking. Anywho, that's enough talking about probe cannon. Let's go and actually have a look. I feel invigorated. I feel like we have new direction that perhaps I was starting to lose um, and it's so nice seeing you guys still being supportive as ever in the uh, in the comment section um, and over on the discord as well it's, it's nice to have these kind of conversation with people there's been a few people that have kind of given me quite a lot of hope about getting to the um, quantum moon and the thing is, I know I probably have the knowledge to get to the Quantum Moon, right? I, I know I probably do. And I know by that extension, I maybe don't need to go to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge on Brittle Hollow. But I need to. I, I personally need to. Um, I don't necessarily know if this is going to be a 100% run. I do enjoy 100% runs in games. But... Um, at least at the moment, it's not necessarily a priority for me, but I do want to go to places if I have seen them. Right, now. 
Let us do the unthinkable. Sturks is actively going to try and get himself pushed into the water. I am terrified of water. I have deep-seated thalassophobia. I just want to put that out there. So, clockwise, 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 clockwise. Come on, you bugger. Where are you? Clockwise. Wait. Anti-clockwise. You're anti-clockwise. Or are you? You're anti-clockwise. Are you gonna... You gonna push me? You gonna push me? Hey? Hey? Why can't I get inside? Let me get inside you! Why can I... Why can I not? Come on. Let me underneath you. Do I have to go in from the top? Why can I... You are perplexing me, sir. <laughs> Giants deep, you have been stuxed. We did it. <laughs> what are you? Why are you red? Ooh. Okay. That's not ideal. That is not okay. Um, okay. Do I have to... Right, if I can't get there with my ship, how the hell am I going to survive it in person? You know? Is there a way in? Do I have to go in? I don't feel safe not going without my ship. If it's going to fry my ship, surely it's going to fry me, right? What is this? How... How do I... There was something glowing in there. There was something red. Right, surely that's going to electrocute me. If I get out of my ship, that's going to electrocute me. What's going on? Some kind of like a reef in there. Which is strange, because the only other place I've seen anything vaguely... ...kind of maritime-based, sea-based, is... Um, ...the Bramble. Right? Do I... do I commit to... do I just try force the ship through? I don't know! You guys are probably going to find this quite frustrating, because I'm going to keep trying this. Okay, no, I'm not going to keep trying that. It does not want me to get in there. But why? Why do you not want me to get through there? Come on, don't do this. You've got me this far. I've got this far. You can't stop me now. Surely not. Surely not. My god, what is this? Right, if I go down there, that's going to kill me. If it's going to damage my ship, it's going to kill me. But I feel like now we're here, for the sake of science, I have to. And then we'll just restart. What are you? Oh yeah, that is definitely that's gonna fry me. This is gonna be one for Sergey. All right. In the name of science, unless does this tell me anything about it? Ocean depths. Let's have a look at the ocean depths. Let's see if if my the ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. Now I don't believe I have any way of dealing with electricity. Although... It 
Your sugar. All right then. So the even the scout is getting repelled. So we don't stand much of a chance of getting down here safely. But in for a penny. It's in the name of science, right? I have to do this at least once. Otherwise, I wouldn't forgive myself. Oh boy. What's that red glow though? Why is that? It looks a bit like the glow in the bramble. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, we're not getting through there. We are not getting through there. Gosh darn it. But I want to. I want to get through there. I came all this way expecting to. But the ship that wait, no, the probe cannon, the probe cannon part, it came down here. So how can it get through and I can't? What makes that special? Right? What makes that special? Or is there something else down here? Have we just missed it? Have we been so oblivious that I've just not seen something else down here other than the core? I am really struggling with like depth perception now. I can't exactly tell how far I've actually moved. Ooh. God damn it. No, it just looks like jellyfish. Jellyfish and electricity. And now I am lost, gentlemen. This is awesome though. What is this? What is it? Why is it? Okay, so we can just go straight through there. That's fine. Hmm. I have questions. I have questions. Bloody hell. Ah, that's the thing. We... I know it's in there somewhere, but I don't get how it can get through if I can't. Is it maybe because it's just one big, you know, inanimate object? It can just kind of pfft, straight through? Too many questions. Right. Oh boy. This is the bit I've not been looking forward to. This is the bit I've not been looking forward to. Oh no, but the quantum moon's here. Right. I'm going to try one last thing. Because I was told to trust my instincts, right? How do I take the picture? I've forgotten how I take the picture. Uh... There was... I sh I'm sure there was a way to take a picture, right? Right, I can't remember how I take the forward picture just normally. Sorry, I'm just going to have to deal with this. Someone said, trust my instincts, but this is quantum, right? I swear I tried that before. We've... No. No. Please, please no. Please don't be who I think you are. Please no, please tell me you survived, please tell me you got home, I just... Right. Let's go, let's go exploring. Why are you sitting up now? You stay there. Oh my god.
it's to do with a bramble. Right? I feel really uneasy, and this is strange for this game. I feel incredibly uneasy. Is this telling us where we are? Is that the sixth location? They found it. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. No. No, 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 no. I don't want to go. I, I don't want to go. Please, no. Please, no. No, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Shit. I don't want to go. Not yet. This is really weird. Like, they know how to get there. They found... Surely they found it then. Surely that means they found it. But if they found it, then why do they need the probe? Why do they need the probe? Why do they need all of this? What is this? Oh, I really don't like this. I know I just kind of said that a bunch of times over and over again. But I really do not feel good here. I thought I would. I thought... I am here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I'll make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknowns sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I'm ready. I, I don't know if I want to do this. I have to physically do a thing, and I, I don't want to get there. Duh. I'm genuinely scared of progressing. You can... you can go away, good tower. I, I don't want... I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want it. don't want it. Then that means... She never made it home. She never made it home. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Do I just have infinite time here? How does this work? We're outside of everything. 
Does that mean she just... <sighs> We're here. We have to. I have to. I have to. I have to. You hear that? That's tornadoes. How can... How can we? Okay, so we, we did find it. We're, he we're here. How? It's different depending on where we go. How can the moon... How can a moon mimic a place... But if, if the eye was here, if, I, if, if the eye I could hear tornadoes, then why? There's only one place I know with tornadoes. Wait, my ship's gone. My ship's gone. My ship is gone. This isn't... How, how can it welcome visitors at the South Pole? Solanum, where are you? Solanum. Please, 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 please. Where's Solanum? Please, where are you? Please don't leave me alone. Not here. Anywhere but here. I don't like this anymore. This is not a place I want to be again in a hurry. I don't, I don't like this. I want to go home. I just want to go home. I don't want to be. Please, why? Why do you keep bringing me back here? I know why you keep bringing me back here, but there's nothing I can do. We're blocked in. I haven't felt this uneasy in such a long time. What? How is it mimicking, though, the places that it's visiting? That's what I want to know. That, that's the fascinating thing for me. How have we turned this into a horror game? This is not right. Find out the answer to do we have infinite time. The answer is no. My god. What happens if we're here when everything ends? I I have too many... Oh, my little brain. This isn't what I was expecting to do today, but we did it. So how do we get to the eye? How do I find where the eye is? too many questions. I don't know if there's a way to leave my scout there, maybe, and see where 
where it would be, but it, it's not. This moon, this moon doesn't make sense, and that's the point. It's quantum physics. You haven't. I was gonna say she hasn't moved since last time I looked. She's just in this constant state of. Oh my god. It's almost like a constant state of just dying. But how can it get me if I'm outside of everything? Once, I don't have anything clever to say. I don't have anything heartfelt to say. I don't have anything to say. But we knew, we, we found, we've done it, we've got there. But I still have so many questions. That has answered precisely zero questions other than what happened to Solanum, and I was expecting to cry. But I think at this point I'm numb. I think we've had quite a few heartfelt emotional experiences. I don't even know where to go next. I, I, I mean, I do know where I need to go next. I need to go to the Bramble. The Bramble is next. I need to tackle it. I need to know what's going on there. I need to know what happened to Felspar before I go digging into everything else. Right. I die. I need some level of positivity. Felspar has to be okay because they're playing their harmonica. But that means we're going to have to finally tackle my fears, which I'm really not looking forward to. I'm terrified of deep sea. I'm terrified of deep sea creatures. And I know how to get past them technically, but I don't know the physicalities of it. I thought Solana made it home. But she never did. Which to me raised the question, did she die to the ghost matter or did she just die of old age? Did she get lost? What happened to Solana? Because there's no other records, we just know she was going to set foot on the planet, set foot on the moon, and then we never hear anything else again. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, guys, that's enough of a relatively depressing end to the episode. Thank you so much for the love and the support. You guys are what makes this possible. I'm going to go reflect on that. And then next week, we'll track down Feldspar. We'll track down the hot-headed Harthian and see what, see what happens to him. As always, though, guys, I have been Sturks. You've been incredible. And I'll catch you all later for the next part in our little adventure. <laughs>